fantastic or weekend or whatever day it is that you're watching this video it's hard to know what day to say in the videos when I'm recording these because like you could be watching it on a Friday you could be watching it on a Monday you could watch it on a Sunday it could be any time of the day in any place in the world it's actually pretty cool how many how many of you guys are from all over the world like it's crazy it's awesome it's very cool so I hope you are doing amazing this week I am taking you with me to Mira Salon at Kabira Country Club so I had left Canada in December 2015 and I had a haircut in November <laughs> and then I didn't get a haircut again until I guess it was May of 2016 oh my god like a long time it was like what December January February March April it's like six months okay um so I was worried I'm not gonna lie I was worried where am I gonna get my hair cut when I moved to Africa because I have thin fine white hair <laughs> right like where am I going so anyway the cool thing is when you move to countries like this, a different country than your home country, you kind of get involved with the expat community. I love Facebook because there's amazing expat groups on there. So anyway, all that being said, I found a lady. Her name is Mariana. Hi, Mariana. She's an amazing lady. Super. Actually, she also, she's a Zumba instructor. I haven't taken one of her classes yet, and I know she really wants me to go take one. I should take one one time. Hopefully, I'll survive. <laughs> but anyway, um, pretty cool. So she's also a hairdresser. Um, and she lives here in Uganda. Um, she's from Eastern Europe and she's an amazing lady and uh, she takes care of my natural hair when it is not being braided. So um, I went to see Mariana for the first time. She was really gracious and let me film. So I filmed my haircut for you uh, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it was a great haircut. She's actually really good. It's hard for me because I have like very fine, very thin hair and I've literally worn extensions, braids, wigs, whatever my whole life because my actual natural hair, I think basically unless I keep it really short, it's just don't do anything. So, <laughs> so this is why I get my hair braided or whatever and especially here in this climate when it's humid, I find having fine thin hair, it just... <laughs> it just kind of falls into my face so I that's why I've decided to get my hair braided now because basically I can keep my natural hair pretty healthy and have all kinds of fun colors and be crazy and wild with my, with my hair which is something I've always loved to do so enjoy my haircut hopefully you know, it's like a boring haircut but whatever I figured it'd be interesting because it's a Mzungu haircut in Africa so see you on the flip side Top of the morning, as you say. Hey, hey sleepyhead, what's up? I'm sleepy this morning because should we yeah, go to bed? Yeah, we <laughs> go to bed at like three. Yeah, well, yeah, you go to bed like what, five in the morning? No, <laughs> six. Yeah, Please. I do. And I'm like playing Cascade until six to come to bed. Why did I get addicted to that video game? You guys know about that game, Cascade. It's on my iPad. I got it from like the iTunes store and it's. I swore I would never get addicted to a video game and here I am playing it till 6 in the morning. Because I need to beat the level and get the jewels. <laughs> so. What are you doing today? Today, this is finally getting cut. Dun, 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 dun. After six months. I literally, I'm, I haven't had a haircut since November. Since before we moved. So. So what are they doing? I'm just gonna... Well, I brought pictures. I sent you know, Did you look at them? Yeah, we'll look at some okay. before we leave. I think I'm gonna get my bangs cut again because I think it's too, I don't know, like, I find it hard because we're in humid weather sometimes, so it's like they stick to my head, but then I don't know if I want to wear my hair down all the time, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, guys, you know these hair dilemmas, it's difficult. And I have fine, thin hair, so it's like, you know, one of those things. You fine hair girls, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so yeah, um, her name is Mariana. I found her from one of the expat forums. Um, someone recommended her, so we're gonna go visit her at 11 to get my hair. Cool. We're run errands today, yeah? We're gonna go grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. Is my blush even, honey? Oh yeah, I know all about that. You know all about those things, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> uh, so all yeah, right. anyway, I'm, I'm looking forward to it because I've been wanting to, like obviously when we were in Kenya, we found that one lady, but then we didn't stay, so we 
I'll see how this lady is. There's a couple other people who cut Caucasian hair. So it's funny being in a country, eh? Where you're like the minority. So it's like, even things like this makeup, right? I'm like, I'm running out of my makeup. I'm like, oh, I gotta find some. But I found an, apparently an Avon lady, so I'll have to try Avon. But yeah, so there's, these are things when you move to a new country, guys, where you're not like the majority, where you have to find stuff. stuff. So you talk to a lot of the expats, you do research and stuff. Um, but yeah, anyway, so it's kind of interesting because we'll find our way around. I gotta figure out ways to do hair, makeup, yada, 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 yada. But yeah, so we'll bring you to the haircut. Cool. Okay, see you later. All right. Bye. Running a little late to the... Uh, yeah, traffic's bad. Next up late. Not busy, it's funny. Um, it's heavy traffic today. So we're gonna get to the Kabira Country Club. First time at Kabira Country Club. So we'll see what it looks like. Wonder if it's like posh or if it's like chill. Yeah, we're just heading out. Getting our little uh, traffic on. <laughs> so we decided banks, right? It's the easiest thing to do. Guys, if you've ever grown your bangs out, how do you grow them out, right? Does it take you a whole year? Because I think my bangs are to here. I guess I'd have to get them to here. Yeah, that's a look. Yes, this is a great this look. This could look in the 80s. This is so, yeah, it could be like a flock of seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Well, let's bring the look that, back. Let's, let's bring it back to the 80s. No, the only yeah. thing from the 80s that I'll wear is jelly bracelets. And neon colors. 1987. Neon pink, neon green, and orange. Yeah. How does that go with your The The neon colors? Yeah, the neon. Black goes with everything. So, yeah. How many steps have I done? 1,031. What, today? Oh, mm, yeah, so far only that many. I did. I'm trying to do 6,000 steps a day here. It's hard when you're now at home, you know, you just kind of do anything. But I worked out last night. Oh my gosh, actually, I don't know if you heard me get up in the middle of the night. I was in pain from mm -hmm. my kickboxing workout. Yeah, you got it easy. Ooh, I was doing the jabs and the flinches and the kicks and I had to keep So now, what did you decide to do? Uh, we're going to do a long bob um, with a bang. Long bob with a bang. Sounds like a poem. <laughs> Long Bob, but it sounds like a southern news name. Thank you. So, Mariana, how many years have you been in Kampala? Ten. Ten years, wow. And you came from Serbia? I came from Serbia for one year. Oh, cool, wow. Then I stayed too. Then I opened my own. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Oh, wow, that's exciting. Long year for me. Yeah, a very long year. <laughs> nice hair. Since when you are here? Uh, we just came uh, April 1st, so only two months. Okay. Yeah, we were in uh, Kenya for a little while. We was came it like a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> First thing. Yeah, ha ha ha. Don't be jealous, I had I got some coffee. Blow dry on. 
What did you do? You cut it? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> so you do straight or you? Yeah, we did, we did it straight, but we put it like, we blended the edges in. So if I wear a ponytail, I can do And you know how edges look like. What product were you guys talking about? Uh, this is just some uh, volume mousse. It will not make the hair heavy, but it will give us a little bit of volume. It's well done. Uh, so can it work for, for me? A bald head? <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll, give, it'll give me some hair? Definitely working. Yeah, I'm in charge. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, can she, she, she can do magic. <laughs> So now, do they do a uh, coloring? Yes, she does. Something, something after the uh, haircut. I'm a hair baby. Actually, she did a great job. It's so nice because, like, you know how hard it is for me to get a haircut in my bangs and how fine my hair is. So mm -hmm. she did a great job. I'm really happy. Uh, yeah, Yay. it's just right across from the hair salon. You can't see it in yeah, there. Yeah, it's over there. Just at the. Uh, it's a nice day today, actually. So honey. Look. Yeah, it started off uh, grayish. Yeah. See, they have sugar substitute because you know how in Canada we use Splenda. Mm -hmm. What does it have? In it? I can't read it, it's so tiny. Alright, lunch is what? Uh, chicken tikka masala burger. And a lot of fries that I probably won't be able to eat all. It's a huge. Uh, That's a lot of fries. Yeah. Your fries. Yeah, I've got a big bunch yeah. here too. Would you get uh, the I don't club? think I'll eat them all. Yes, club, club things. Where's the right. 57? You know there's that trick, you're supposed to hit it on the 57. Find the logo. <laughs> okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that vlog. And um, that burger was actually really yummy. I've never had that kind of a hamburger before, and it was very tasty. Um, however, since then, I have cut back on the hamburgers and chips and all that stuff. If you've been following my Instagram, you know I'm trying to eat paleo slash keto. It's really hard for me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm trying to like figure out my fitness and my health regimen. Um, in my new life here and um, trying to figure out what works for me now that I have time. Before, like when I was living in North America, I was working all the time and I, I mean, I'm working now still, but I was doing different kind of work and I uh, really didn't have time to take care of myself. So that's one thing I've been trying to do. I'm actually really, really thinking hard about starting a new, um, a new series on this channel and literally it's like, not rants, but like just kind of rambling talks because I think you know, I'm going through a lot of, like, just to be honest with you guys, I'm going through a lot of things in my life right now in terms of, like, rediscovering myself because, well, anyway, I'll save it for another thing. I'll, I'll, um, I'll put out a newsletter when I start these kind of ramble talks, <laughs> but I just figure there's people going through the same stuff as me, so why don't we just come together and figure this shit out together, right? <laughs> life is crazy. It's like you think you've got it figured out and then some some shiznit happens and it changes and it doesn't have to be bad stuff it can be good stuff but stuff changes and it changes your... oh. I don't know what that was the wind is starting to blow here guys so I guess that's my cue to quit this vlog stay tuned there's a thunderstorm that's about to happen so I'm gonna leave this in because yeah it's really starting to I don't know if you can hear the wind okay I'm gonna cut it off here 
I'll keep you posted on the little rambles. I think I literally will call it Random Thoughts with Nat and it'll be on this channel soon and hopefully we can work through some stuff together. All right, if you like this video and you want me to shut up, <laughs> click the like button, share it, and on Facebook, give it a like and a share, and I will see you guys next time. I love you guys so much. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time. I'm gonna go and batten down the hatches. All right, bye. That's all for today.